Last weekend we had Jersey away. We spent two nights in Jersey, and what an incredible weekend that was. Mm. Uh, it, they were tough opponents, as we could tell, going uh, undefeated this league. How do you feel we went? What was your reflection of that match? I was really proud of how um, how we attacked the game from the from the forefront, and even with the preparation with Howley and Steve, it, they left no stone unturned. We flew the night before. We had excellent sleep and nutritional preparation. We, we got to the ground. We had a plan that we'd play into the conditions in the first half. Um, probably expect to to be under a small bit of a deficit at half time, knowing that conditions would be in our favour in the second half. It was up to us then to score quickly as we did straight after half time and it was a, a three point game for fit ten or fifteen minutes while we had the conditions behind us. And that's what made the the loss a bit heartbreaking for me is that we knew going into it it would be an eighty minute performance. We did the first fifty exactly as we as prescribed and we discussed and then to feel it just slowly be torn away from you um, by, by a very strong team to be fair to them and by our own mistakes it's just an, a nasty kind of recipe for a loss and um, they had one or two tries at the end which flattered the scoreline but the feedback from um, a couple of my mates that were playing with Jersey is that they're really impressive how well we put up to them how well we managed the conditions in the first half and a combination of their strength and organisation just with a one or two moments of weakness in our part uh, led, led to the somewhat convincing loss in the end so huge amount of positives that I take from it is that how we approached it in a very strategic manner how we implemented that plan very well over 50 minutes or an hour and it was a couple of small moments as all these games are which it slips away but again you say a fully professional yeah. team playing at home that we're able to address it in that manner not just going there and having a having a crack and see what what may or may not happen we put ourselves in a really good position and it, it just fell away at the end yeah well the, we got a game this weekend we're back at home at the rag the last game until before christmas that is hmm. uh we're up against Antil. we played them previously in the cup what are we expecting from this Antil side now at home yeah we played them in the cup um they're very direct as Antil. Uh, traditionally are very direct up front they backed their mall uh, we did very well uh, at the weekend not to give Jersey access to our half through through good discipline so we'll definitely love to continue that um, Richmond back at home we defend our patch with a huge amount of pride and honour we saw that with the Beffer game a couple of weeks ago <laughs> we haven't been fortunate enough to play a lot of home games it feels we mm -hmm. were away a lot this opening stretch but we put down a real uh, foot of strength when we play at home and that will result in us playing fast, strong, playing on top, not making it easy for them at all to fall into their their patterns of play. We want to put our Richmond stamp on this performance for sure. We're definitely carrying a bit of hurt from last weekend and there's no better chance to put it right. I couldn't say it better myself, Phil. Mm, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time and well, we can't wait to see you on the weekend. Thanks very much, Dara. Cheers. Cheers. Appreciate that.